Okay, so um, I did see where they were watching from. Um, I'm making this um, video um, to document um, my project. It's my Masters of Information Technology project, and my project topic is the design and implementation of a simulated storage area network using IsCoSD protocol for database. Um, I'll be in the course of this project, I will be uh, try to um, to design and implement a simulated storage area network using IceCos protocol, specifically for database workloads. It's a simulated environment to provide a control setting to investigate and address performance and security issues inherent in a um, SAN deployment. So my objective would be to design and provide um, system architecture required for a simulated um, storage area network using IceCoS protocol for database workload. I also try to simulate um, a storage area network by deploying um, a network on top um, simulator on a VMware Workstation Pro and connect the storage to a Windows server using IceCoS protocol. The server will now run I will run a server, um, a database workload on the Windows server. This will help me to evaluate and provide recommendation for optimizing database workload with underlying sign IceCoSD protocol. By that, I'll be conducting a comprehensive performance testing to measure data throughput, latency, and overall efficiency of the simulated SAN. I'll also analyze the impact of this database workload on SAN performance. I will identify performance bottlenecks and provide strategies to mitigate them. I will develop best, best practice and guidelines for design and implementation of SANS using IceCoSD protocol. I offer practical recommendations for optimizing SAN performance based on observed data and analysis. I will suggest security enhancement and protocols to safeguard SAN environment against emerging threats and vulnerability so um, let's get practical um so firstly i have my uh, on top uh, simulator here with me should be in my um folder here i have the on top 9.15 as the latest version the latest simulator version so i'll be using the 9.15 so to get quickly, I'll get to my um, my VMware. So, um, I'm actually inspired to do this to understand. Um, uh, I'll be using ZAMP for my um, uh, database workload. That is, I'll install ZAMP. So, ZAMP will give me MySQL where I'll be able to manage MySQL using um, uh what's it called php my admin i have a procedure which i want to follow i'll share with you okay let me just run through that also um here yeah. okay my process my step-by-step -step process of implementation now inst i've installed vmware workstation on my host machine i'll create two virtual machines one for the netter contact simulator and um, okay, I'm going to be creating three rather. Three. I'll be creating three. Um, two for the uh, get up on task and one for the Windows server. I'll download this and install the simulator. I'll configure the simulator with the necessary storage resources and network settings. Then I'll create IceCoS alone, install Windows, then also, I would install ZAMP, including my SQL. Um, so I will install it on the attached drive. You know, it's going to be an attached drive on the Windows server. So I install it on that drive on Windows server. I'll set up a virtual network in my VMware to ensure connection between the virtual machines, the three of them. I'll be assigning static IP addresses to both virtual machines. With the same, within the same subnet, 
I would launch ZAMP and start my SQL service, create a sample database and um, tables to simulate database workload. I'll populate database using a sample data for testing purpose. I will also have um, Visual Studio Code installed. I'll have PHP to system pass, run database scripts, and collect performance uh, metrics from the log. So I'll be doing this in the course of this video. Uh, it's not going to be one video, probably i'll rest take some time to rest again come back to it wherever i stopped so i'll be uploading them to my youtube channel which is probably where you'll be watching now so um let's get started okay so i'll start with opening my virtual machine so in the next video i'll be continuing on the um installation of the VMware setting up the VMware instances on the virtual on the VM workstation. Thank you.